Republicans and Trump and all of all of America really want you to believe that they are pro-veteran, pro-veteran. But Republicans act as if they are the party of patriotism, the party of patriotism, even though they show up and act and support a man who wants to do away with the Constitution, who wants to be a dictator on day one, who believes the American Constitution should be thrown away if it stands in the way of him continuing to hold power, even if he lost in an election. Sir, do you need to apologize to service members and veterans? No, it was a fake story written by a magazine that was uh, probably not going to be around much longer. The president responding to the Atlantic report that he rejected a 2018 trip to an American cemetery in France, saying, why should I go to that cemetery? It's filled with losers and calling the Marines buried there suckers for getting killed. Here is here is my question to the group. Is it savable? I mean, why not abolish the VA? take all of the money that we are otherwise spending and go to an any willing provider system within our communities and then if people get bad care they can vote with their feet and you don't have a two-tier system of health care in this country with our veterans and and with everyone else this is project 2025 this is what they want to do for veterans eliminate disability compensation that'll save them that much eliminate a a huge portion of veterans getting care at the VA. Narrow eligibility, so less veterans have access. Put your, a 10-year time limit. So if you don't get access to the VA in the 10 years after you get out, you never will. Republicans, conservatives, hate veterans. Now they've went a step further and done something that is absolutely disgusting. Donald Trump's campaign and also the Republican National Committee are suing Michigan. Ask me for what? Michigan is being sued for allowing veterans to register at the Veteran Affairs offices. From this day forward, I better not see a Republican at all say, I support the troops because your figurehead is suing Veteran Affairs for registering us to vote as well as designate Veteran Affairs offices, some of them, as voting places. And don't forget, your guy hates people like me. You know, 100% permanent and total disabled combat vets. We're losers and suckers. If you truly support troops, you're going to go to vote.gov, register to vote, and make sure your voting blew this election. That's right. Veterans being allowed to register to vote upsets the Trump campaign and the Republican National Committee. Upset to the point that they filed a lawsuit saying that these people should not be able to vote at Veteran Affairs and should not be able to register there. Let that sink in for a moment. How is that supporting veterans? How is that looking out for veterans' best interests? Going to a place that is trusted and secure, and Republicans still got a problem with it. They had a problem with ballot boxes until they realized that it's an old tactic being able to mail in and drop off ballots in America. It's not a new tactic, and it's secure. So now they don't even want you to vote if you are a veteran at Veteran Affairs. Think about that. Think about that. You care so much about veterans, you are suing the Veterans Affairs. Because of what? They're providing a service that should be a constitutional right that you should already be, the minute you turn 18 in America, you should automatically be registered to vote. Shouldn't be able, to, you shouldn't have to register anywhere. And damn right, it should be easy for veterans to access the ballot and turn it in. And if they got to go to the Veterans Association or Affairs Office for medical appointments and other issues, then why can't they drop off their ballot there? It's a federal office because Donald Trump don't really believe. Republicans don't really believe. The Trump campaign don't really believe that they are, they are the party of veterans. They are the party of racists without a platform. What is their plan for health care? Have you seen it? Have you heard it? All you hear is grievances. What is their plan for the education system? Have you seen it? Have you heard it? All they have is grievances. They want to ban books. They want to do away with the Department of Education. They want to appeal Obamacare. They don't have plans. They have racism. And they have cult-like behavior. They have anti-American behavior. Isolationists. They want to do away with our partners in other countries. They are extreme not some of them, all of them, to support this Republican Party in this form as they follow Trump over the edge is absolutely ridiculous.
It is absolutely ridiculous. One day they're calling for civil war. The next they're suing the Veterans Association or Affairs Office for allowing veterans to register to vote. This is not patriotism. This is disgusting. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't be disgusting.